survived then, have you? Johnny good. Johnny good. Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest? What a simply fabulous word. Quest. 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 I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do have a look around. Lovely day for it. Soak up the ambiance, the grandeur, the wonder of it all. I have the oddest feeling we've discussed this before, or did I already mention it? No matter. I am Sir Cadwell, the undaunted knight of the court of Cold Harbor, champion... Very few would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. We've been waiting for you, Planewalker. You may refer to me as the Groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost care. The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molag Bal. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Harbor. It just needs life to return it to glory. It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor, for Molag Bal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Let me show you why this city will serve your needs. Watch and listen. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. The history of the city permeates these streets, and with a bit of magic, I can reveal it to you. Now come, let us walk.
Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia, the Radiant One. They lived in peace and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Baal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. The city's defenders did what they could, but they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered, but the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the alien king Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The Aeliad King single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, but she also saw an opportunity. Molag Baal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor. Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the alien king was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain, and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise. An overconfident Molag Baal. Champions from another plane. On that, on that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian, the alien king, and you, our last best hope. This city shall serve you well against Molag Baal. Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. It shall be reborn with every person you save forged into a weapon by your own hands. I am your advisor. We both wish to stop Molag Baal's machinations. I offer you what help I can. The Hollow City awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, and it shall not fail you. You must gather those who were lost. King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. 
return the hollow city to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molag Bal. You shall require more than just the king and the mage, of course, but they are as good a starting point as any. Others in this realm, allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. As you seek out the mage and the king, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust, and who would be willing to join us here. Go west, beyond the Moonless Walk. There you shall find the Aeliad King, held within a Tower of Darkness. Vanus the Mage is somewhere in the Eastern Plain. His exact location is hidden from me. I recommend heading west first to find the Aeliad King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the Lights of Meridia. The Lights have the power to unlock his Prison of Darkness. As you no doubt noticed, Molag Bal's realm has its own defenses. Things that teleport onto this plane tend to get scattered. As were your allies. As were the lights. They could be anywhere, but most likely, they are guarded by Morlog Bal's forces. Rumors only, I'm afraid. I have heard tales of a strange prison to the northwest. A tower that is not a tower. That guards one of the lights and others whisper of a vile laboratory to the southeast that distorts the purity of Meridia's light. Originally, the lights were a gift from Meridia, power that protected the city and made life easier for its inhabitants. When she pushed the city into Cold Harbor, she filled the lights with even more of her divine power. King Dinah is trapped within a Tower of Darkness, bound by shadows and dark magic. Meridia's lights can unravel those bonds.